Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Mixcraft Pro Studio 8. Today I'm going to show you how to archive a song. This is very helpful if you're uh, backing up your song and you want to have it for future use and also that maybe um, you bought some new plugins and you want to try them out on some tracks like your guitar tracks. It works out great for that also and this would be very helpful for doing things like that. Now, um, first thing when I usually make a project, I'll go into the project tab here and make sure the title matches the title of the song. So this is always helpful when um, you're, you know, want to go back and find the file that was used to make your song. So I always make sure that these match, and then I'll uh, give it the year it was made and engineer and things like that. Um, in the comment section you can add the beats per minute and the key of the song that's always very helpful and also uh, other things that you want to see that you you want your listeners to see because the comments are public and they get embedded into the mp3 file in the project notes this is where you can add uh, things about the song how it was created um, you know anything else that you think is helpful that you could use in the future for describing how everything in here works now after that's all made and now we'll get to the archiving you go up here to file and copy project files to either a folder or a zip file folders great if you want to copy those files onto a USB stick and transfer them to your um, laptop or you copy them across the network onto your network storage device and um, you know you can take those files with you you know go over to the singer's house record them whatever you're going to do and uh, then bring bring that folder back um, and start working on it on the song so i'm going to do both of these and show you how it works so first desktop and i'm going to make a new folder and call this how to archive Oops, sorry and then the thing that you have to do is usually I click on desktop and see it still says new folder here so then um, select that one and then click on it back uh, there's a problem where it will actually make a folder called new folder uh, wherever you're saving this to and it won't have the proper name so you have to click off and then click back on it's just kind of a thing of this dialog box so click OK and it says uh, many files use uh, may share the same name so Mixcraft is going to rename those and make sure that everything has its own names that the WAV files are on the proper tracks and all that stuff so let's click uh, yes so the loop library now uh, Mixcraft has the enormous library of loops and I always like to copy those into this archive that I'm making because you never know in the future uh, if those files will be there. So it's good to just pull them all in right now. Uh, so copy the loop library sounds, yes. Would you like to modify the new project file to have the, or I'm sorry, like to modify the new project file to have a new project folder of, and then it shows the new path. This, I always click no. Uh, because you know maybe I'm saving it on a network uh, on my backup or something like that now Mixcraft is going to start opening up the project from there and not uh, where I have it saved on my computer's hard disk so I'll click no and then would you like to load the new project file no because um, I just want that as an archive and uh, I still want to work on this one here now where it would be helpful is if uh, you have files scattered all over the place and you want to bring them into a new project folder you can do it that way then I would definitely click yes and load it and work on it and then archive it into the zip which would be the next portion of this video so I'm just going to click no and then I'll close this down and bring the archive folder over here so just click open and now 
see that it has all the loops from the loop library and it has the uh, file for Mixcraft, the project, project file. So that works great. So next, I'm going to make the zip. Now, the thing about the zip is the zip file will be um, like a frozen asset of the song. So it will be uh, frozen in time because you don't necessarily go in and edit the files inside the zip folder or zip file. You have to decompress it first and then work in that. So what I like to do is uh, click here and we already have this folder, but I'm just going to call it how to archive zip. Then open that up and then give it the name here. And then the zip uh, file extension will be added. So it's going to be the same things. Okay. Project was successfully archived. So if I go back into here and open this up, you see the how to archive zip directory or file. And it also has everything in here, all the loops and how to archive the song project file. Now sometimes I'll do both of these and put the zip file back into uh, the Mixcraft folder here. So I can drag all this onto USB stick or save it on a network storage device. Now the other thing is the um, the zip files. See when I open that up, all these files aren't contained in a folder of themselves called how to archive zip. If you if you have a zip file like this and you decompress it onto your desktop or wherever, all of these files are going to be scattered all over all over the desktop or in the folder so that can become annoying so what I do is make sure that it's in a folder so that when I extract it here all those files will now be extracted inside of this folder right here and that's what you want so then this folder can then in turn be drug onto a USB stick and what I get at that point is actually the zip file that's frozen in time and I get the uh, project files ready to be worked on. Now it necessarily doesn't have to be unzipped on your desktop before you move it to your laptop. Um, you know, you can just do that when you get to your laptop and work on it there. So hopefully all this is uh, helpful to you and this seems to be uh, one of the biggest things of how to lose your files if uh, sometimes Mixcraft will save the uh, the waves and everything in places that uh, you don't know and then you end up opening up your song later and Mixcraft goes into that dialogue where it's trying to search and find the wave files and then you have to remember what folder that they're in and this way you can alleviate all that type of headache just by doing an archive like this. Um, and it's always always good to do an archive, you know, when you're either have done something uh, monumental in the song, or that you're just closing it down for the night, and and you want to make sure that nothing gets lost. And I usually archive a song right before I do the final mix, uh, and then uh, after the final mix is done, so that that part's locked, and I know I can go back to it if I really mess it up or I uh, get some plugins or something like that. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope you have a very wonderful New Year's 2018 and God bless. Take care now. Bye-bye.